Hello, it's Stale Chasm and we are starting work on our visual novel. As you can guess, to create a novel, you need to click Create New Project button. We are making an English language project because we will write in English. So just click Continue. Next, enter the name of your project. We write here the name of the game, for example, My Great Novel 2 because it will be a very great novel and it's a sequel to my first great novel. And you need to choose a resolution of the game. What does it mean? This mostly affects the resolution of the resources that should be used in the game. It's not really that scary. This doesn't mean that if you select 1280 by 720 that the game will always run in 1280 by 720 window and you will not be able to resize the window during the game. In fact, you can expand the window to the full screen or you can reduce it and so on. But keep in mind that if you use 1280 by 720, then your backgrounds should be this size and sprites should fit this size. So if you have very beautiful backgrounds with 5000 million pixels, then choose a bigger resolution. I leave this option as the default, because why not? Here, as you can see, the standard user interface colors are selected. This can be changed later. For now, we will choose something pretty, like, like this. Or maybe like this. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. And now Renpy creates a folder with our game and puts empty files there. Well, not completely empty. Let's look into them. We see the name of our novel in the project section and the folders and files that belong to it are shown on the right. Let's open the script file. Let's open the script file and see what's inside. And <laughs> there is not much inside yet. You may notice that all words are white and it is not very convenient. So in Notepad++, click language and select P Python. Yeah, that's much better. Now everything is decorated and it is much more convenient, much easier to navigate the code and you immediately see that gray text is a comment that doesn't affect anything. Orange is the text inside the quotation marks and so on. This makes it very easy to work with the code. So be sure to choose the Python syntax in your code editor. So what do we see in our script file? Well, you can place the game script in this file, which is logical because this file is called the script. Here we see that one character named Aileen is defined. Next, the game starts and the picture of room will appear. Then Happy Aileen is shown and two phrases that Aileen says are displayed. Let's see how it all looks in the game itself. So go to Rampy, click Launch Project and see that the interface is exactly what we choose. Black and this beautiful yellow. Let's start the game. And there is supposed to be a background. And there is supposed to be a picture of Aileen. And Aileen tells us that we created a new game. So why does it all look so strange and gray? That's because if the pictures are not found, then Renpy will not freak out and will not scream I can't start the game! It will just show a gray background if there isn't such background and it'll write the name of picture you're trying to show. Or it will show a gray silhouette of the character you tried to draw. That means that these images are not found in images folder. Or maybe you just misspelled the name of your image. If you are not familiar with programming, let's focus a little on what we see here. Note that label start is written here and this part is highlighted in red. This means that all this code under label start counts as one block of code. For example, we will make another label. Let's call it label finish. Then we add a colon. And after that, we start the next line with four spaces. Let's put some text in here. And now let's pay attention to the 
red line here. It shows us that all the code that is located under the words label finish and is shifted by four spaces is one block of code. So let's add a few more lines. And as you can see, all those game over lines are one block of code. And we can think that this code is located inside label finish. So this game over is inside label finish. All of that code is inside label start. You may notice a colon after label start and after label finish. That is the main sign that code after this line will be shifted and will be inside this label. So if you put a colon at the end of the line, remember that there must be four extra spaces at the beginning of the next line. Otherwise, the RAMPI will throw an error because it sees the beginning of the block of code and there is nothing inside. In different programming languages, the beginning and end of a block of code are usually denoted, sometimes with curly brackets, sometimes with uh, the words begin and end. RenPy scripts are based on the Python language, therefore here block of code are only indented. So you must pay very close attention to this. In most code editors this is very thought out. If you forgot to indent a part of code, for instance you have uh, like this, you have a label start, you have a colon, but the code that should be inside label start isn't shifted. Then you just need to select all the code you need to shift and press the tab key. And all the lines will move by four spaces. If you press the shift and tab, the lines will move in the opposite direction. So it's very convenient. And as you can see, most code editors understand that all this code is inside label start. And we can just click the minus button to collapse it. And it's the same with any other block of code. You can collapse it and show it again. So if you don't want to see the entire code of your entire game at once, then you can collapse and expand only the part that you are currently working with. So that extra code does not distract you. Like if you don't want to see all this label start code, you just collapse it and work on label finish code. And Notepad++ has this very handy button combination. You can click Alt and Zero to collapse all blocks of code in your file. And then just expand the block you need. 